Hey everybody, so in this video we are going to be fitting the front carbon door cards from Rallytech into the Evo 5. Okay, so originally the plan was to fit all four door cards in a video and show you how to do it, but I decided to split it up into the front door cards in one video, the rear door cards in another, for a few reasons really. One of them being, I want my videos to be a bit shorter if possible and try and get a bit more detail in because I've been cutting detail out because the videos have been too long, like fitting the bonnet. And also, I've already done a clever thing and worked out how to fit the front door cards, but I haven't figured out how to fit the rears yet. So I thought it's probably a good point to to finish off the front door cards um, and do the video and then obviously do the same thing with the rears. So that is the plan. So we've got our front driver's side door card here and I'll talk you through in a sec why it looks as it looks. And the plan is gonna be that the passenger door card there, we're gonna apply the same approach to that door card. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then we're gonna get both of them hopefully on the car and that will be that. So there's a bit of a disclaimer with this video and that is this is my approach, my solution and I know exactly kind of what criteria I have for these door cards. So for instance, I don't have electric windows so I don't need switches. I don't have manual windows. I've got Lexan windows so I don't need um, a manual puller, winder. Um, I need a door handle because it's impossible to pull the door shut without one um, trying to grab onto the car when it just doesn't work. And I wanted to keep screws out of this as much as possible apart from the OEM screw points because the door cards basically clip on everywhere else um, and I wanted to try and make it as undoable as possible if at some point I wanted to put the original front door cards on but I wanted these door cards to be secure and strong and solid and I wanted the option to be able to remove them if I need to to get behind the window so those were kind of all the criteria and I'll show you now why I came up with the solution that I came up with and hopefully it is probably one of the good solutions for this. Okay, so here's the original door cards and you can see that we've got massive switch panel there for electric windows on the driver's side and a big panel on the passenger side. And you can see here, you've basically got screw at the front, screw at the back, and then everything else is clips apart from the screw at the bottom of the handle. So I wanted to use the same solution um, with my approach. So basically, if we look at the door on the car, you can see we've got the original kind of handle guard here, which the handle will kind of screw into. And then I've just epoxied, which is why I kind of said it's as undoable as possible, epoxied in five mil spacers to these points here. And you can see that the spacers are corresponding exactly to the holes where the clips were. So the one, two, three, four, five, the bottom five, they all needed 10 mil spacers total. And the door card sits a little proud, which is as good as it's gonna be. And the front one, which is that one there, that needs to be 15 mil total. So I've kind of done corresponding things on the door card here. Again, epoxied them in and waiting for them to set properly. So the next thing we need to do there when we're ready is we need to take the original clips, which are here, and I have basically sanded off the kind of tooth or whatever you want to call it, the end of it that slots into the door card itself. I've sanded those off so I can put some epoxy on there and I'm going to kind of stick them into the door is my plan and then put the epoxy on and then stick the door card on and then hopefully let the epoxy do its thing, set, jobs are good and pull it off and yeah, kind of just put a bit more epoxy on if I need it. That is my plan. Now the cunning part of the plan, maybe more cunning part of the plan, is the door handle. So what I've done for the door handle is Here's the door card for the rear of the black car, just while I was messing around, is this door pull here. This fits perfectly with the front door card from Rallytech. So that is, in my opinion, the best solution if you don't have electric windows and you don't want switches. So that just means making this nice hole here that it can slot into, and that all fits perfectly. So all that said and done, we can now start looking at the passenger door card and start kind of getting that ready to go on the car. So here is passenger door card and we obviously need to cut out for the handle and I've made a little template here for that. So this is the shape that we need and the handle fits perfectly in there 
and obviously there's an in and an outside so the bit that says in on it there that goes to the inside of the car and then this side goes to the door itself so got all that worked out there and then we just need to start off by making the two holes the original holes in the door card here so it's the first one here for the screw and then it's the second one here for the screw and luckily when I was testing these originally just drilling those two holes straight out straight on the car no issue so awesome job rally tech so we'll get that done get the door card on the car and then we can start cutting out tentatively to find where that hole is for the uh, handle to, to be able to drop it in and cut it out and get all that sorted so let's crack on with that shall we Okay, so that is the door card kind of in place. That's the initial points for it anyway. Um, like I said, very easy to do, which is great. But onto the handle now, roughly 29 centimeters in from the back, and then it extends to 40 centimeters, and then it's roughly two centimeters in. So you're kind of looking at sort of like that as the position for the handle. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna drill pilot hole and then enlarge it a little bit just to find the middle of that um, bracket and then from there we're going to start to sort of cut it out tentatively and then sort of bore it out bigger and bigger and keep trying the uh, handle in it until it fits right and then we can tidy it up and we're done so bit kind of um, ballsy doing this but um, it does work I can assure you so uh, let's start making that initial hole and looking through and seeing and then we can hopefully put this on and get an idea of where it's going to be and kind of draw around it Okay, so that's our little pilot hole drilled now and if we drop the allen key through which is what i've been doing that goes through the hole in the middle there and that is pretty much bang on um so what i'm gonna do now is just put that on there put that through there like that and then that should give us a rough idea of what we want our hole to look like so kind of like that so i'm going to draw around that now and then start cutting out to that shape and then as it gets a bit bigger we can then start working out how close we are to the sides and stuff and hopefully make our fine adjustments but uh yeah let's draw around it and let's start cutting it out a bit more properly <laughs> Okay, so that is our hole cut for the handle to go in. So before we start looking at the um, spacers and stuff for the door to match the driver's side, just wanna fit this up and fit this up and just make sure everything looks good. Um, and then, yeah, we can crack on with the next step. So let's see how good this is. This goes in there, okay. And then, so there we go. That's that little bit done. And then this should still fit. Yep. So there we go. Uh, unfortunately, I actually got the driver side, which is the first one, better than this passenger side, which is unusual to kind of get the first one better than the second one. But this hole is a bit too big, but it's not too, too big. So now we can get door card off and we can start putting the spacers onto the door first and then we'll do them onto the door card after. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're gonna put the spacers onto the door and I'm putting five mil spacers on the door and then five mil spacers on the door cards and then putting the clips onto the door cards is the plan. Um, obviously we want these to line up perfectly with the existing holes so my solution is to use an 8mm bolt 
put it through like that and then put super glue around like that just to do the initial kind of set put it in place and then epoxy around that so i'll just do the super glue bit on video and then we'll come back after a spongebob as they now say and we should have all of these epoxied and i'll also have epoxied the door card with its spacers so we'll be ready for the clips day two okay everything is now cured as well as it's going to be and i am ready to get the door cards on the doors properly um, i haven't tested this so i don't know if it's going to work i'm hoping it's going to work but i'm going to fit the press studs into the door and then i'm going to glue on the back of the door card with some kind of longer curing um, epoxy because the stuff i've been using it cures in like a second so it's pretty useless when you try and do six things um six things six things so i will hopefully use that and have enough time to get the thing on the door and then get it masking taped into place and then yeah just repeat the same thing on the passenger side and just let it set and then come back a day later and hopefully we can see the finished results and see if the doors come off the door cards come off okay and then yeah do the final kind of footage of how they look um so yeah let's uh get on shall we Okay, that's driver's side done now and hopefully all held in place with some nice 3m masking tape i'm not going to bore you with doing the passenger side i'm going to go and do that myself so we'll have a spongebob uh, and come back tomorrow and see if it's worked yeah fingers crossed okay so it's been three or four days now since they were glued into place i've taken the tape off i have checked them over um i have tightened the screws up a little bit and i've also ordered some screw caps and things just to tidy the screws up more and got some stainless steel screws to go on and yeah i've just checked them over and everything is good so the job is done um let us have a quick look and see what the finished result is like so you can see that the sort of fitment along the top is really good with the uh, kind of stock door window rubbers and things and the fit down the side is good handle all good in there with the screw and the door pull all good screws all look okay probably can't see the passenger one in the cave but uh, it does look very smart I am really impressed with them um, I will just get a little shot inside the car just so you get a feel for what they look like when you're in the car and the doors are shut because it's kind of cool um, so yeah let's do that Ooh. nothing fell off that's good hopefully you can see maybe you can't but um, yeah inside the car this side's better it uh, yeah it just works it just looks really really smart um obviously with all the other carbon that you probably can't see because this car is a cave but uh yeah anyway that is it for this video next video is the rear door cards which i've already started on um same technique as the fronts pretty much so yeah thank you for watching any questions give me a shout as always but um yeah on to the next video